That was just a balloon going up. What if it was terrorism? Are you ready to face God? There is terrorism all the time. There is earthquakes all the time. Are you ready, Italy, to face the God of the Bible? Not the God of the Catholic Church. The God of the Catholic Church saves no one. The only way to be saved is the God of the Bible. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to God except through Jesus Christ. Mary is not co-redeemer. Mary did not die on the cross for your sins. Mary was a sinner. Mary had more children. It is in the Bible. You are having a Catholic conference, but how many people brought their Bibles? Catholics don't read the Bibles. They are too busy praying to Mary to read the Bible. God hates your idols. God hates your Mary statues. God hates your prayers to Mary. God says, do not pray to the dead. There is one mediator between God and man. That man is Christ Jesus. Jesus is God. Mary is a sinner. Mary said in the Bible she needed a Savior. We all need a Savior. Even Pope Francis needs a Savior. Pope Francis is not the representation of God on the earth. Pope Francis is Antichrist. 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 And the Bible is clear that the devil, the false prophet, and Antichrist will be thrown into the lake of fire. And those of you Catholics that keep worshiping Mary, you will go to hell too. Hitler was a Catholic. There are no Catholics in purgatory because there is no purgatory. Your church has lied to you. You Catholics have drank the Kool-Aid of a w wicked cult. The Catholic Church is the largest cult in the world. And Mary is upon the throne of your church. Catholics have killed more people than Islam. Do a history on the murders of the Catholic Church. Hitler was a Catholic. Jesus Christ calls you to repent and believe the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is this. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He was buried. God raised him from the dead. Three days later, he was seen by over 500 people. According to the scriptures, what must I do to be saved? Repent. Repent. Don't repent to the Catholic 
church. Repent to the God that gives you tomatoes every single day. Yeah. God gives you tomatoes every single day. But you Catholics would rather Hail Mary than Hail Father God. Well, no wonder there's so much feminism in this city. There's so much feminism in this city because your God is a woman. truth on that one. God bless you. Any questions? Any questions? I told you how to get to heaven. Jesus Christ loves you. He wants to save you, Catholics. Catholics are not Christians. Come to God. Get born again. John 3, 3 says, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. God will save you. God is not willing that any perish, but that all come to repentance. Read Revelation 17. Revelation 17. That is the Catholic Church. God bless you. something about what you were telling now yes I have to look for gospel okay you want the for the gospel uh, I don't know I'll, okay I'll the gospel would be... have a look at what sure you were sure saying. okay um wow where to start what's your question uh, the don't, gospel don't, don't have questions just curiosity okay well the gospel is in first Corinthians 15 okay that's what um, the gospel is where Jesus died. Yes. He yes, was buried, yes. rose again. That's 1 Corinthians 15. Okay, but to have a look of, uh, about what you were saying right now, what's your message? Oh, I, I had many know. things to say. My main message is read the Bible. Do the answers are in the Bible. Bible. Well, you okay, can okay. start with New Testament. That would be okay. Um, uh, the book of John, I talked about John 3 just then. You must be born again. That would be John chapter 3. That, that's a very good chapter. Uh, uh, Johannes, is that how you say John? Giovanni. Giovanni, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of another country. It's okay. It's okay. Giovanni 3, verse, um, chapter 3. So that's a very good one because that talks about God's love but also his justice for our sins. We deserve hell, but Jesus died on the cross to take our place. He didn't have to do it, but he did. That's why we should worship him. Here's another one for you, okay? Exodus 20. 20. Exodus 20. Okay. Read John 3 and Exodus 20. Yes, in, in 1 Corinthians 15. But the Catholics have changed the Ten Commandments. Do they? Yes. Okay. okay, God gave the Ten Commandments when Moses was on yes. Mount Sinai with his finger. The Bible says, do not add to this book and do not take away from this book or you'll be cursed. The Catholic Church took out commandment number two, took number 10 and split it up into nine and 10. Trust me, research it. I will. Because when you read commandment number two, you'll go, we do that. And I say that because God loves you. But commandment number two is don't bow down to idols. Oh my goodness. You go in a Catholic church, they're full of idols. Yes. Okay, let me give you three scriptures. Uh, Exodus 20, 1 Corinthians 15. Yeah, John 3, and 1 Corinthians 15. And 1 Corinthians, C O R I T H I A N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Number 15. 15. Yeah. And it's, it's, it 
it shows you the it, Apostle Paul gave us the gospel. He said, if anybody preaches another gospel than this, speaking of 1 Corinthians 15, they're cursed. It's very important. And I know it's not going to be popular. I'm, not I'm just, uh, just a human. the good news with anybody yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's, listen. Yeah, yeah, That's oh my, my philosophy. Gosh. Oh my gosh. We, you know, without, without idols. Yes, yes. Um, the Catholic Church is full of idols. And you know, actually the Catholic Church has built entire cities on their church being the number one thing to come see in this city, like Fantoma, oh my goodness, in Portugal. They had um, children said they saw Mary years ago. So they kept having their visions of Mary, and then all of a sudden the children mysteriously died not too long after that. But Pope Francis went and made those kids saints this year in Fantoma. You go to Fantoma, Portugal, it's a no-name town in the middle of nowhere, Bill, Portugal. They every store, idols, 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 idols. So I bought one and smashed it right in the middle of the service while they were walking around. When you read the Word of God, you'll see, uh, do a, a research on idols. God hates it because he's jealous. He really does. I, I joke about God feeds us tomatoes every day. But think about it. Italians eat pizza, pasta every day. You need a tomato. And how dare any of us say, I don't believe in God. Tomato. Just thinking about the tomato alone, so supernatural. But then you think about rice. I, I preached in Asia a lot this year. Yeah. Rice everywhere. And yet those people, they bow down to those idols. Hindu idols, Buddhists, all kinds of things. And it breaks God's heart. Not just does it break God's heart because he's a real you know, person, real spirit, father of the world. It breaks his law. That's interesting. Wow. So first it breaks his law, and then it breaks his heart. And the Bible says, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey me. So a lot of people say they love Jesus, but they don't obey him. In America, we have this thing called Mardi Gras. It's a Catholic holiday. They go out and get completely drunk on Tuesday. It's called Fat Tuesday. Next day, they're in the church, Ash Wednesday, and they get ashes on their head. Really? Yeah. It's an abomination. It's a circle. <laughs> it's an abomination. I'm telling you, what a wicked church. But I do love them, and I love all people because of God's love. Because of God's love. God. A lot of people thought the world was going to end today. You know, but the thing is, the scriptures say we don't know when Jesus is coming back. We don't know the day or the hour. When and how and the who. Right, right, right. Well, we know how he's going to come through the clouds. He's going to split the eastern sky on the, on the eastern gate of Jerusalem, but every eye will behold him. But there's 24 time zones. 24. That's one reason he can't tell us when he's coming back. Because 24 time zones, it's a huge world. But God's sending people out into the world to compel people. Come on, get right with God. Give your life to Jesus. I'm telling you, he's coming. I just don't know when. And I'm going to keep doing this and warning people. But there's so many billions of Catholics uh, deceived, deceived, blind, blind, blinded by religion. God bless you. Where are you from? Thank you for talking to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people don't do it uh, so much. Well, they, they, you're so Italian, you. aren't you? Yeah. yeah, you've got that accent. Fantastic. What city here? here? Imola. 30 kilometers far from here. Oh, in the nice? countryside. Oh, is it nice? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I bet it is. I it's love the city, so oh. just coming to the city sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would yeah. like to arrive in Tuscany myself. Very beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye. God bless you.